Gallery of the Living Arts is an annual still life performance put on by the Congregation of First Lutheran Church in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Gallery of Living Arts is a celebration of Christ from birth to resurrection. Um, it's something that we do for this community and for our members in the church. GOLA is in essence, it's an acronym standing for Gallery of Living Art. And what it depicts is the life story of Christ, uh, Jesus Christ uh, from birth to death and resurrection again. And it's entailed with lots of beautiful music and beautiful uh, acting. different roles in gallery. I'm one of the pastors here at First Lutheran, so I have a little bit of an administrative role in um, sharing it with the community and in being being here, I guess, to um, work with our staff in some of the putting together of, of gallery and overseeing how the production comes together and the coordination side of it. Um, but mostly my role this year has been to be a part of gallery. I've been one of the cast characters of my whole family. My husband, my two children, and myself um, have all been a part of the cast this year, which is a really awesome experience too. Um, my role in Gola as an actor uh, dep really depends on your parts, but my parts, uh, I played Jesus in Resurrecting Lazarus on Sunday morning. I uh, was in Pilots Hall uh, accusing Jesus, and was also in the Lord's Supper. I play the Apostle Matthew in the Lord's Supper. I am a person in Pilate's Hall who is gawking at Jesus, and then I am the angel in Empty Tomb. I'm an angel in the very first scene. Um, I do makeup. I help with makeup. This year I am in the choir as a soprano. Well, this was my first year helping out and seeing it in the first place, and uh, I was actually the lighting technician. Gola means uh, giving to the people, uh, working together with all the different, um, all different actors and performers to uh, give to the people and to uh, be selfless and give for the glory of God. Spread God's word in the best way I can. It's just a really cool way to do that. A deeper understanding of what Jesus might have gone through and what people were feeling in his time. To me, a gallery is a really awesome way that we can bring Christ to people who might not hear the gospel in the same way. You know, some people are auditory learners and some are visual learners and some are written word learners. And this really speaks, I think, to people who might be on the creative end of learning, who are visual in how they understand things or auditory in how they understand things. And it brings a unique um, way to deliver the, the message of Christ, to bring the good news to people. Gola to me is something I guess as the church together gets together and everybody has a part and every little person actually creates the entire thing like we couldn't do it without the makeup or the stage people moving things and it's a lot of fun. What I found out it means to me is what almost everything else in my life means to me is that Christ truly is the savior of all mankind and again it was the hymns that helped push that message. It's the story of our Savior's birth and life and, and death. And it's uh, very meaningful because it really gets us into the Easter, uh, Easter season. It helps remind us what our, our Savior did for us. It's a blessing the people who are in it. There are over 200 of our members in the cast and behind the scenes and just doing so many things and in the choir. And, uh, it, 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 it's given a spiritual uh, tone and tenor, especially to our preparation for Easter. And it's, it's been just a, a real blessing to families who have been in it from the beginning. And uh, one family for the last 20 years. Many of the participants in Gallery of the Wedding Art have been in it for many years. I've been doing it since I was about three years old, so I think 14 or 15 years now. 
six, seven years. I think I've done it for 11 years, so ever since I was three years old. Well, I've only actually gone a few years because I've, most years I've participated in it. I've been everything from Judas in the Last Supper to the voice of Jesus to just a, a member of the choir. What does Gola mean to you? Well, it means that I have the opportunity to uh, welcome the community because it is a gift to the community.